Hey everyone, a very good afternoon. So yeah, we are back again after a week. So this time, the content that I have uh, like just uh, thought about is uh, I must say it would be very much uh, interesting to know about uh, this particular animal. Yes, uh, today I will talk about an animal actually. But in the meantime, it is also a kind of uh, knowledge we can get from this only. And some interesting facts that we might have done in our own lives that we are going to relate to this uh, creature. So yeah, I am your friend Abhidhi and never hesitate to ask me anything. So. You can definitely put down whatever your queries, whatever your requests you have, I will definitely take up. And um, so yeah, let's begin. So uh, on Thursday, I have launched a YT short. So that uh, is uh, get a plan for your home right now. So you can definitely check that out because um, it is a kind of a very basic thing that on which I have created this short and it can definitely help you that why people only think of plants as keeping it as an ornamental thing can plants do any, any other thing other than the ornamental th purpose we use them definitely yes so this is all this short is like all about it and it will give you some clarity that plants uh, in home are not only for the ornamental purpose so yeah thank you very much for showing me so much of your supportive side supportive spirit and i'm very much thankful that uh, uh, i have grew some for subscribers and also some views in the last 28 days so yeah So today we will be talking about Komodo dragon. So uh, you might have definitely heard of many legends like uh, there were some dragons, they used to climb up high in the mountains, they used to kill people, they used to blow out fire from their mouth. So no one of us knows that were they true or were they like uh, any for false thing or they were just a kind of a story that uh, is not much normal in a sense after hearing it but there is a dragon which doesn't blows out fire from his uh, mouth the name of the dragon is Komodo dragon so it is the only one species of dragon present in this earth like currently Komodo dragon is the only one dragon that's why the term is that a uh, dragon so the other name of Komodo dragon is Komodo lizard and the scientific name of Komodo dragon is Varanus Komodionus so yeah it's a very tough name but it's a scientific name on a generalized form, we call it as a Komodo lizard. Otherwise, moreover, everyone knows it as a Komodo dragon only. Now, the speed, so per hour, it can work 20 kilometers. And I will le also let you know interesting fact upcoming uh, in the upcoming slides. So, watch till the end. So, now the mass of a we like male Komodo or dragon varies between uh, 79 kgs to 91 kgs and a female Komodo dragon varies between 68 kgs to 73 kgs. Now the maximum length of a Komodo dragon is 3 meters. And another yet amazing thing about Komodo dragon is the Komodo dragon has a tail as long as its body like if uh, it's a generalized form that three meters would be the maximum length but it can grow more uh, of that but if we take that three meters is the length of the body 
then uh, the tail would be also nearly about 3 meters only so it's very interesting so yeah this is a komodo dragon so it's walking so you can see how it is looking so now what would happen if you get bitten by a komodo dragon like no one of us have thought of this but uh, see frankly speaking uh, to us like humans uh, there is no effect if i'll say let's understand the thing why the theory that komodo dragons kill via bacteria is generally outdated now because they have slashing teeth very nasty bites they give and their bites do tend to get infected but this is generally not fast acting enough to cause death like um, it is not the bite it is not like the bite of the snake that it will act so fast that uh, you will it will uh, be fatal to you but uh, they are bite uh, like uh, it will cause infection in humans but in ma other like mammals it uh, will not do that much so yeah the komodo dragon there was some theory that komodo dragons kill uh, by their um, bacteria they have in saliva so in the upcoming slides we will be studying about it that um, a komodo dragon so has uh, its reddish saliva which contains near about 50 15, uh, 50 different type, kinds of uh, bacteria so it is being said that uh, those bacteria kill us it's not the venom but the bacteria are the very lethal things in the komodo uh, saliva but uh, now it is uh, generally outdated because this saliva contains a venom but it is generally not no, like uh, not so effective to humans because uh, the varies variations in the dosage so uh, they in a single bite they can give only certain amount of uh, venom but that certain amount of venom will not cause any harm to humans because humans need more of that to get the uh, no, killed by that komodo dragon but in other mammals this venom causes a rapid drop in blood pressure which leads them to become unconscious and uh, again they start to bleed out and uh, yeah they get killed at last so for humans that but a single bite uh, will not affect much but for others they may get killed so let's now get into the facts about komodo dragons so komodo dragon likes hot and dry places and lives in dry open grasslands savanna and tropical forests on the lower land so basically these dragons as you can see they live in uh, very dry areas and they don't like uh, much wet areas like not even humid they can still uh, live but uh, not in wet areas so they most probably live in very to very hot and uh, dry regions in the world so now fact number two is Komodo dragons can see objects as far as 300 meter. Can you believe this number 300 meter? It's like uh, I guess they wear some spectacles from by birth. Like it's really they can see so such a great amount of distance with their small eyes. So I think they are. Uh, like they have such powers of uh, seeing that much uh, of uh, objects uh, at that distance because uh, in humans we have our the power of our own uh, 
like a lens inside our eye but there the lens in the komodo dragon's eyes have more power than humans as well so they can see objects far behind that 300 meter so yeah komodo dragon has forked tongue just like a snake as you can see here so in snakes we have our uh, forked tongue so in just like that komodos also have it fact number four is komodo dragon can eat a whooping 80 percent of its body weight in a single feeding so like uh, uh, for a meal i have already said you it might be 91 kilos let's take it as 91 kgs so they can eat 80% uh, of their own body weight in a single time in a single feeding so it is totally a great huge meal they will have in a single time so I guess uh, 91 kgs and 80% of its body weight is a huge and a very different kind of thing because uh, we humans usually do not tend to do that not only humans but uh, most of the mammals except uh, humans are uh, not in that sense uh, doing it but a komodo dragon is typically very different komodo dragons are the largest lizards on the planet yes they are the largest lizards as i have said you that komodo lizards so they are a kind of lizards only but they are in a kind very different because some believe that it's a snake it's a kind of a snake because they have to know that forked uh, tongue and some believe uh, it to be a lizard because uh, it has a huge tail and the body structure determines it to be a lizard but still um, many people get confused between it so it is actually a lizard uh, like it's a lizard it comes under the category of lizard after the classification but it is the feature of a drag komodo dragon to have a forked tongue that doesn't mean that it comes under the category of snakes because snakes are totally different than komodo dragons so uh, as i have said you Komodo dragon have reddish uh, saliva that contains 50 different types of bacteria. So, as uh, I have said you before, that um, there were theories that the bacteria pre like present in the venom of the Komodo dragon kill uh, the person or uh, the organism. But uh, now it's outdated. Humans don't die in a single bite of Komodo dragon, but other animals, other organisms will definitely die. It can be fatal to them. So yeah, fact number seven is Komodo dragons are carnivorous and they hunt and eat other animals. Hmm. So they have um, like they are carnivorous in nature. So now Fact number eight, they use their long forked uh, tongue to pick up smells in the air. I have showed it to you, right? So many think it to be a snake, as I have said right now. But God has gifted them this feature just to smell, just to pick up the smell. Like, um, is there any organism near me so that I can hunt? For that reason, they are gifted with this poked tongue. So they are uh, not gifted uh, with this poked tongue to just uh, frighten people. 
but they are gifted of these four tongues because of smelling of uh, spelling or any organism present just near them or present anything in the air so if a komodo dragon lives in a any wild forest or in its natural habitat it can definitely survive up to 30 years so the average life span of a komodo dragon is about 30 years in the wild so wild means it's of course its natural habitat so komodo dragons can cause their tongues to locate a food source see i have told you this only in fact number 8 that when they smell through their poked tongues they will recognize that there is a food just near it so if it is even 4 kilometers away they can smell it so this a uh, feature of them that is poked tongue so use of komodo dragons in history of world so it is one of the most interesting part of this uh, video so i hope you have uh, like you know about uh, tanna ji malusare or uh, you have you might have watched the movie tanha ji the unsung warrior i hope you do because uh, there is a very amazing thing that has been uh, like uh, in the history of in, i'm just talking about uh, going to talk about tanna ji malusare so yeah when tanna ji and his army of 300 troops reached the foot of the fort so just try to imagine this uh, scene of uh, tanna ji the unsung warrior what happened there i'm just uh, telling you um, in a brief that uh, the actual incident that took place i'm not going according to the movie that you are seeing the poster so uh, when the troop has just uh, reached that fort the uh, tanha ji malusare chief tanha ji malusare introduced yashwanti yashwanti is a komodo dragon it's a kind of komodo dragon bengal monitor lizard comes under the category of komodo dragon only so they are also known as khorpad in marathi so this term you will you might have definitely heard in the movie i must say so just try to relate that khorpad is no one only yashwanti so they had planned that they will tie a, a rope around yashwanti or that komodo lizard and go up the fort so uh, the lizard uh, is known for its grip it is i have written here and was expected to take the troops to the top of the fort i will explain this part just after completing the story the army then tied ropes around yashwanti yeah so they tied the ropes and they started climbing also but uh, for yashwanti or that uh, komodo drag lizard it is also impossible to carry such a huge number of troops it's also mentioned it 300 troops his army of 300 troops so there were two failed attempts but after it tanha ji and uh, his men were successfully able to climb uh, that fort so the science behind this is already mentioned here the lizard is known for its grip so if uh, you have seen uh, the claws of a komodo lizard its claws uh, i am like they have a such a strength to anchor so that's why he was uh, like yashwanti uh, was able to carry that uh, army of 300 troops to the fort so i think in the background you can uh, like see it's a hill and up it is the fort here 
So Yashwanti was able to take the tube there. So uh, their grip, even in the soil, they have such a best grip that they can hold it so tightly they will not move even. So it's very difficult. And wherever they keep uh, their uh, claws, they will definitely not move. Some people believe that they have some glue in their uh, claws. But actually it's not the case. The actual thing is, they have like they, their claws are designed in such a way that they keep themselves anchored. So that is why Yashwanti was used by Tanhaji to get up into that like pot. So it's a quick bit of science from movies only. So why was this Yashwanti used uh, in the by Tanhaji Malusare? Even in his, uh, it's a real story, right? So, because uh, even in those times, it was known that Ghorpad, you know, so uh, this uh, Yashwanti is known as Ghorpad in Marathi, or the Kumar dragon is known as Ghorpad. So, these Ghorpad can keep themselves uh, anchored, so they there is no harm even to those uh, army people or the Tanaji's men. So, after, but still they failed because even Yashwanti needed that much strength. But after that two failed attempts, in the third time, they they reached the fort and uh, they won, like just won the battle. So, happy Dashera! It's coming on fifteenth, I guess. So happy Dashara everyone beforehand. So always good wins over evil. So it's never the case that uh, any time evil will win. But the goodness, the happiness, everything wins over the feeling of evil nature. So a very happy Dashara to everyone beforehand. So yeah, we are at the end of the video now. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. And don't forget to like the video, share it among your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel Science of Abhidhi. And again, comment down if you have any doubts related to this video or if you have uh, any other requests as well. Like if you uh, are confused in any concept, you can definitely uh, comment down. I will definitely take it up. So, thank you very much. And uh, do like, I am just uh, happy that you watched till the end. So, yeah. Peace.